Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Vimal Singh and in this particular video, we will see how we are going to create advanced DLP policy for Teams chat. So as we discussed in previous video, we are going to go with one particular location, which is Teams, and there we will see what are the advanced options we are getting for that and how we can configure that. So let's get started. Okay, so now let's see how we are going to protect our Teams chat and messages. For that, we logged in on Microsoft Purview once again as a compliance administrator. And now we will go to data loss prevention. Inside that, we have policy section. And by default, this uh, uh, gives you the option where automatically you can configure the Teams DLSP policy. And here we have turned on the automatic file protection. And once you will turn it on, automatically it will start protecting all this. Uh, to create the policy, you can come to this create policy, go to custom and create a custom policy for it. Now here, you need to give the name. As we discussed, name cannot be modified later. So make sure you have given the right name. Description can be changed later also. Now, here we are going to turn off all the scopes. I mean location, because we want to apply the policy for the Teams chat and channel messages. And that's the reason we selected just this Teams chat and channel messages. Now let's go to next. Uh, there we are going to create a custom advanced policy for this as we are creating a custom category. Now there we will create the rule. Here we will give the rule name and there we have add conditions. So at this place, as you can see, because again, our scopes are narrowed down and we are only creating the policy for the teams. So we got here con content contains and other option like content is shared from Microsoft 365, recipient domain is, recipient is, sender is, sender domain is, and accordingly you can have your condition. So for now, we are going with the content only and sensitive info type. And there we will search for a particular sensitive info type, which is credit card number. So if anybody is sharing credit card number on a team's channel, then it will detect and block it depends on your accent. So if I'll go and now we are going to create the accent at this place. Here we will set the accent, restrict access or encrypt the content in Microsoft 365 locations. At this place, we are going to enable this accent. Uh, as you can see, the default is block only people outside your organization or we are going to block it for everyone as it is credit card number, more sensitive information. So we can think this scenario, but depends on your organization requirement. We can also notify the user and we can also give this policy tips to the user that your organization has implemented a policy against your sensitive data. Now save it. This is what the policy and the rule we created. Now we'll go to next and we can turn it on right away. So now this policy got created that will protect your team's chat and messages. Now let's see how we are going to use it. So we logged in on a Teams and there we have something called new conversation. Let's start the new conversation. And here in the conversation, we are sharing the credit card number which is our sensitive information and as per the policy should get protected. So the moment you click on send button, let's see what it says. You got this message was blocked. What can I do? You can click there and it will give you the killer message that your message was blocked due to the organization policy because credit card number is being shared and that's our sensitive information. Either you can cancel it. If you understood, you are not going to share it or by mistake it is happening then you must report it to the dlp admin and they'll change into in the policy if you are supposed to share such information to outside of the organization or within your organization now let's start a new conversation and there we are going to attach one file that contains some credit card information so if i'll send this particular file this file will get attached here and sent it doesn't mean the user will read it we already created one video there. We can see how the DLP administrator or you can say Purview administrator can monitor what exactly happening with this document. Okay, now what we can do, we can reply if any message is coming from someone and while replying, if I'm going to share some sensitive information, for example, this credit card number, and then we are going to send it as expected, it must get blocked. And as you can see, we got this message, this particular information, I mean the masses that got blocked. And this is what we can do with the help of DLP policy for the Teams and chat. Okay, so I hope you got an idea how we can create the DLP advanced policy for the Teams chat and meetings. So thank you so much for watching and see you in next.